this is my reflection on um, assistive technologies in the classroom. Um, so it is a technology that is either digital or not um, that increases, maintains, or improves the capabilities of a child with a disability. Um, they're used to make learning easier. It can also improve self-esteem and quality of life. Um, if you're able to keep up with your classmates, you're going to generally have a better self-esteem um, and therefore a happier life, at least in part when you're in school. Um, I had surprisingly more experience with this than I thought I did. Um, I have personally used uh, pencil grips, color coding, spell checker, calculation or calculators, um, computers, and magnification software too um, to make my learning easier. Uh, this, a lot of these I've used growing up in elementary school and some I still use today. Um, like for instance, when I'm working on my stats homework, um, I'll zoom in on Excel, which the only thing that that really helps with is that I don't get a migraine from reading a small print on a computer screen. Um, so simple things like that can really help your learning improve, um, whether you have a disability or not, which I also think is a great thing um, that it's useful for students without disabilities as well, um, because then it promotes inclusion for children with disabilities because they're less likely to feel excluded and different if everyone else is using it too. Um, the one that I found most interesting is, um, well, the area I live uh, has a very diverse culture and um, I'm monolingual. I only speak the English language. And so as a teacher, especially for younger students that I plan to teach, um, it's, it's, I don't want my children, my, my students to have to learn my language when they should be learning the material that I'm trying to teach. Um, therefore, I think that assistive technologies that translate in real time um, would be incredibly helpful and I love the idea of having these translators so that students can learn the material without being forced to learn English first. Um, and learning the English language would also become easier um, as they use these translators. They'll start to draw connections between their language and the English language. And that's a more natural way to learn a second language anyway, rather than be given the black and white, this means this, this means this. Um, in the article from this week, um, there were, there were I think, six um, applications for assistive technology, and my, the three that were most interesting to me were applications within communication. Um, as an example, uh, picture systems to help visual learners. I like the idea of helping communicate, communicating a lecture or a lesson um, by providing pictures that go along with it. That way it kind of creates a story. Um, those who have better memory through looking at pictures and images would have a better time learning the material that way. Um, I also like, like um, assistive technology for positioning. Uh, so for example, tilt tables, uh, it would make writing and reading more comfortable, um, more accessible for students that either have a physical disability and cannot reach their table um, if they're in a, a wheelchair or they have spinal issues or whatever whatever the problem may be, that can just be a more comfortable way to work on your homework. Um, there are also assistive technologies for environmental interaction, which kind of along that same line, um, I like the idea of personal adjustable desks because that way it kind of implements um, independence a student has control over their own personal space. Uh, even if you don't have a physical disability that requires you to have your desk tilted towards you, um, you may prefer it. It may just be more comfortable. And if that's the case, then you should have every right to learn that way. Um, one extra uh, assist assistive technology that I found uh, was found on Think thinkinclusive.us, um, and it was the idea of using uh, small stuffed animals on tables, on individual desks for students. Um, that way it can kind of be a handheld object, a manipulative tool uh, that provides stimulation to calm restless children during uh, lectures or quiet times 
Um, I think that's an incredible idea, especially for, pe for people like me who want to teach uh, kindergarten age kids. Um, having something that they can kind of focus on, alleviate stress, um, calm anxieties, that kind of thing, I think could be an incredibly useful tool as well as an affordable tool. It's easy to implement. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, I think little things like that we can do to enhance our classrooms.